I've been making videos on this channel about the Panasonic S5 now for around 10 months. And one of the most common questions I get asked is, what focus mode do you use? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a dive into the different focus modes that I use for both photo and video, and in what scenarios I use each one for. So let's just cut the small talk and get straight into it, starting with photography. Now, most of the commercial photography that I do is still live photography. So that means things like products, food, cars, you know, that, like that realm of things where I'm not really expecting my subject to be moving around so much. So therefore, I always put my camera in AFS um, because then this way it means that when I half press the shutter, it will focus on everything that I want to in the scene and it won't really be hunting around the frame too much like it would in AFC. Normally in this mode, I'm normally using the single point AF purely because it means that I can move that single point around my screen and then like make it either bigger or smaller depending on how small the detail is that I'm focusing on. So let's say for example, I'm focusing on some writing or a really small detail on let's say a badge of a car for example, and um, the smaller I make that, then the more accurate uh, a result I'm going to get. So single point is normally the one that I use for that sort of use case in AFS. And of course, aside from the still life photography, I do also shoot human subjects as well. Um, and then in that case, I'll switch my AF mode to AFC and then to the human detect AF. Normally I find this to be a really good uh, mode to use for shooting people. Um, of course, it does a pretty good job of focusing on the eye as well. But sometimes if my subject is stationary or holding a pose, for a particularly long time, then I will actually switch to single point and then put that focus box sort of nearer where their eye is. Please note, however, if you are shooting a moving subject like a human, always keep your shutter speed above 1 125th of a second, purely because even if they're moving just the slightest bit, um, you've got more chance of getting them uh, tack sharp and in focus when your shutter speed is higher. And I know that at the beginning of the state that a lot of people make is they'll you know, lower their shutter speed to ensure that they're getting more light into the camera. But what you do that way is you basically um, raise the risk of you not getting a sharp image. So yeah, make sure with moving images that your shutter speed is always over at least 1 125th of a second. The reason I use single point AF so much, by the way, is simply because it means that the camera's not having to think so hard when it's trying to focus on my subject. Um, as you can imagine, you know, I think the S5 has 225 focusing points. Um, so if you have it set to the entire frame, then of course it means that a lot more processing is going to go into, oh, you know, should I focus on this? Should I focus on that? And um, with a single point, what you're basically doing is telling the camera to forget everything else around it and just focus on that one small part of the frame. So therefore you normally find that the accuracy is a lot higher and that's why it's probably one of my most favorite uh, focus modes to use. On the extremely rare occasion that I'm shooting a fast moving subject like wildlife, sports, or anything where my subject is moving pretty quickly, then what I'll do is I'll use AFC, of course, and I'll use the AF tracking mode. Um, I find this to be quite good and it does stick onto your subject quite well when they are moving quite quickly. So those are the only three modes I really use when I am shooting photography. I find that between those three, so single point, human tracking, and just general AF tracking, I can pretty much do anything that I want. Um, of course, there's different types like there's the zone, there's the, uh, you know, sort of like one sort of line AF thing. There's the, your full 225 area AF as well. And of course, when I first got the S5, I did try all of the focus modes, but those three tend to give me the best results overall. Okay, so let's move on to the different focus modes that I use when shooting video. Since I always get a lot of people ask me what my AF settings are for video, um, I normally have my AF speed set to minus one and my AF sensitivity set to minus three. Um, sometimes if I need to be a little bit more snappy, then I raise both to plus one but generally speaking I find that minus one minus three gives me the best results in terms of stickiness responsiveness and of course without there being any uh, pulsing or you know focus hunting and stuff so normally when I'm shooting video with my S5 with the AF on, it's not only for like interviews or talking head sort of things, very much like this YouTube video or interviews for my corporate work. And in this scenario, my human subject is not moving that much apart from of course their heads moving forward slightly or moving backwards slightly. Um, so in that case, I have it set to human tracking. And what you can do in the human tracking mode is you can essentially tap the focusing box on the LCD that's around the person's face and then it will confirm the tracking so you'll get like the crosshair sharp around that box as well. And that's normally what I do for the, the, like these YouTube videos and for when I am filming interviews and stuff. And I always get really good results with this. Um, so yeah, that's what I use for this sort of video. So if you are someone that wants to do vlogging or of course do YouTube videos, then that is the mode and the sort of setup I recommend for that use case. 
If I'm filming B-roll or objects, for example, so that could be whether I'm getting in a product shots or anything like that, the chances are I'm normally using the AF tracking mode or single point, depending on how much that object is moving in the frame. Now, of course, if I'm doing sweeping shots and the object's moving from left to right, for example, then normally I would use the tracking AF mode. But then again, if I've got the camera stationary on a tripod, then it's not only single point AF because it basically gives the camera less to think about when it's trying to now focus on exactly what you want it to focus on. So yeah, it's normally a mix of AF tracking or single point AF. And of course, with a single point, I'll then make that sort of size of the uh, uh, of the focus point either bigger or smaller, depending on how big or small the subject is. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So just to summarize on this video, I only really use three AF modes in the S5, and that is single point AF, human detect AF, and AF tracking. Um, I don't really mess around with the other ones. Um, I normally find that those three do everything that I need them to do. And of course, I change each one I use depending on the use case, and of course, depending on what I'm filming. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful or somewhat entertaining for you. Um, I really hope you did get some value from this, and if you did, then please consider subscribing to the channel, because I do make a lot of content surrounding the Panasonic S5, and an L mount ecosystem in general. So yeah, if you're into that, then this channel is definitely for you. So yeah, hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.